Welcome to Power System Analysis using ETAP course. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we are going to create a simple industrial system in ETAP. So let us go ahead. So this is an example system which we will be creating to study the load flow analysis. So let us discuss the system first. So here you can see we have two main sources coming from the grid and uh, connecting at uh, point of connection 1 and point of connection 2 so the MBA short circuit capacity is given similarly it is connected by two transmission lines the length of the transmission line is given then it is connected to the, the main bus and from the main bus we have two transformer feeding the industrial system so we have here 13.8 kV system 4.16 kV system and 0.48 kV system and each transformer is feeding some individual load if you see here so here we have a system typical system which we have to prepare uh, and the data for this system is given below so for utility source data we have this power grid the rated kv is given so we need for load flow analysis we need at least one swing bus so here uh, we are going to have two swing buses for each power grid and then the MVA short circuit capacity X by R rating is given. In ETAP, when you put MVA short circuit and X by R, these values will be automatically calculated. So we will see that when we put these values, do we get the same values or not? Then for the transmission line, the data given is the length, the size of the conductor and the ohmic values uh, of the uh, conductor. Similarly, the design configuration is also given. So we will be preparing this data as well. We'll be modeling at least one of this line. Then this is the cable data for each of the cable modeled in the line. Then this is the transformer data. The, for the transformer impedance and X by R values is given based on this X by R values and percentage impedance, the R and X value will be calculated. The vector group is also given, but this will be used when we will be performing short circuit analysis. Similarly, the HV side and primary and the secondary side of the transformer and the rating is also given. The induction motors which are being used in the system, the data regarding this induction motors is also given. So we'll be using the same and we'll be adjusting the values. I'll, uh, we'll be showing you how to model these values for the load flow analysis. Then this is the load data and this is the lump load somewhere the lump load is used and where there is percentage constant impedance load it means it is a static kind of a load. So we have and the load we have here is the lump load as well and the static load as well. So we'll be modeling this load as well. 